Hi everyone, this is Nicole and I'm going to be starting off this nail tutorial with Sandy Shellac Color Bow. This is just a really nice shimmery pink color that I like to do when I'm doing a French manicure. So I've already started by applying my Sandy Shellac base coat and curing in the lamp for 10 seconds. So I've already got that done so I'm going to go ahead and get started by applying the bow. And I'm just getting enough polish on the brush. And then I'm just kind of creating a little ball right here at the beginning of the nail, bringing it up the side, bringing it up the other side, and then bringing it across the rest of the nail, going down the middle. And I'm just making sure it's a nice even thin coat, and then capping the ends. And I'll show you one more time. Just making a little ball right here at the beginning of the nail. Bring it down the side, down the other side, and across the rest of the nail. And I'm going to finish my, my other fingers, cure for two minutes, and I'll be back. So this coat came out very nice and sheer. It's not very opaque. I like it this way. If you want to go ahead and make it more opaque, go ahead and add a second coat. But I want to talk to you for a minute about my top coats. I have two. Now I have one that is specifically for every polish except for glitter. I And then I have one that's just for glitter that I've marked just for glitter. Because you're going to find that if you use that one for your other manicures, you're going to be transferring over glitter to manicures you don't want glitter on. And that's really important. So and make sure you have one for glitter and one for everything else. So next I want to talk to you about the additives that I'm going to be using in this video. Uh, the first one I want to talk to you about, this one is called Island Heat. And CNC additives are really good for, um, for these colors. And as you can see, Island Heat is this very, very pretty orange. It doesn't look like it, but it's actually very sparkly. Uh, the next one that I want to talk to you about is Midnight Tie. This is a very, very sparkly blue that you can very clearly tell. Gorgeous color. And then this one right here is Pink Lotus. It's not very sparkly, but it is very, very pink. So definitely three of my favorite colors that I want to be using in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and before putting the additives on, I'm putting on a top coat. Just one layer of a top coat, as if I was putting on a regular one. And the reason for this is that even though I cured the the bow, the layer of bow, this just makes sure that it stays on very, very well. Because I'm going to be using the alcohol later on to clean off my nails. And I don't want any of the pink or the bow color to come off at all. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these nails and then I'm going to do my other hand and then I'm going to cure for two minutes and I'll be back. Okay so what I've got here is just a regular makeup brush that's flat and short bristled and this is what I'm going to be using to be adding the additives onto my fingernails. Now the top coat that I have on right now, I did not remove the sticky layer. So as soon as I brought it out of the lamp, I'm getting started. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with the blue. Like this. And just, I'm just going to pick it up with my brush. Just try to get a good amount on there. Like this. Let's try to get some on there like that okay and now what you want to do is you want to pat it you don't want to swipe you want to just pat pat it in because if you swipe at it then you're going to be pulling the other the coat underneath and it's not going to look very nice so you just want to pat it in there and now I'm doing a French tip design so I'm just getting the color right beyond right beyond my whites. I'm not doing a perfect French. I'm not doing a smile line because of the end result that I'm looking for. So 
I'm going in, um, I'm, I'm looking for, for a kind of a square, several squares in one finger French tip. And you'll see when, when it comes out at the end what I mean. So I'm just putting these in, ra in completely random places. It's, it's not really all that all that specific you can do whatever you want now for the ring finger I'm going uh, I'm not doing a French I'm doing it over the whole nail so I'm just randomly putting in these colors and you know I don't have to do the too much blue because um, I am doing the orange and the and the and the um, the pink so I've got I've got a lot going on. So here I'm going back to the French and I'm gonna do it on this side this time. Just wanna pat it in there real nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of my nails and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm picking up some of the pink color and patting it into the nail like this and remember we still have one more color so we don't have to do the whole nail I'm just doing it on the side on this one and then I've got it on I'm gonna put it on this side over here so I'm gonna go ahead and pat this in into random places and I'll be back and now I'm picking up some of the orange and I'm gonna be filling in all the spaces that are left over from the other two and remember I'm only doing a French on four of the fingers and doing the random spaces on the ring so I'm gonna finish that up and I'll be back okay so now I'm gonna go in with my top coat that is specifically for glitter and this is because some of the additives are going to transfer over to the brush and I don't want to mix that in with other manicures so that's why I'm using my glitter top coat. So what I'm doing is I'm not doing a normal smile mani French manicure. I'm doing a kind of blocked look. So I'm going in like right here it's kind of higher than my, than my whites. This one's going a little shorter and that one's going higher. And then of course capping the ends like that and now for the ring finger uh, you want to make sure that you get as parallel with the brush to your to your nail as possible because you don't want to be going at an angle like this you don't want that because then you're going to be swiping the additives and ruining your beautiful design you want to just get as parallel to the nail as possible and then go ahead and finish that up so I'm going to do this to, to the rest of my nails I'm going to cure for two minutes and then I shall be back so I'm back and now I'm going to rub off all the extra with a paper towel and so with some alcohol on it and I'll be back so I've got my very fine detail brush that I just got at a craft store and over here my palette with some acrylic paint which I've got some black, white, and blue. And uh, this is just regular paint, really regular acrylic paint that I got from a craft store. I just find that with acrylic paint, I really get the, the fine detail that I want. It's easier for me to use this than the nail polish for this. So I've got my brush loaded up with that really nice light blue color. And I'm just going in at the very top of my French that I top coated earlier. And I'm just going in with some random uh, square designs that are kind of swirls, but, but they are square so that they follow in with the French tip. And this is why I like to have a really fine detail brush so I can get the, the kind of control that I want. And I'm, I'm just doing part of it with the light blue right now. And once I do all my fingers with the light blue, then I'll come around and I'll do white on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to all my fingers and I'll be back. So now I'm going in with my black and I'm just doing some more shapes. I'm making sure to start it at the beginning of the French so that it looks it looks neat and square. Now if you find with your black that it's too thick 
just go ahead and add a little bit of water to try to get it more more thin so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up with the rest of my nails and I will be back now I made a mistake when I was applying the black on my pinky so I wanted to show you how to fix a mistake with acrylic paint it's really really easy I just take this um, this clean brush that I have and I put some alcohol on it and dab off the excess and then just swipe away my mistake and I just keep doing that until the black is completely off and I'm I'm using a really small brush because I don't want to get rid of the blue because I like the way the blue came out so mistakes are very easily fixable so now I'm going in with my white and I'm just adding these little accents in completely random places along the black and blue lines this just makes it so that once I top coat it really pops out the design and just really makes it very very vibrant and you don't want to do too many but just some here and there so I'm gonna go ahead and do this to all the rest of my nails and I will be back so now I'm gonna go in and top coat the entire nail once the acrylic paint has completely dried and you can see that once I top coat it, the colors just really, really pop out. They might have looked dull before, but now they look really nice. And the, the top coat that I'm using is the one for every manicure except for glitter. Um, the glitter brush I don't have to use because remember we already top coated the, the additives and cured it. So we don't need to worry about transferring glitter over to the brush because there, there's no need for that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up top coating my other nails, cure for two minutes, and I'll be back. So my nails have just finished curing, so what I'm going to do now is put some alcohol on a paper towel and wipe off the sticky layer of all my nails, and I'll be back. So I have just finished removing the, the sticky layer, and now I have this beautiful French neon manicure, and I really hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you very much.